uh, hi everyone so we will be building the complex application where we need to use uh, multiple containers so we will try to set up that kind of application structure so here we need a uh, different application container like node.js, redis, mysql, uh, maybe apache container, nginx containers okay so we need to establish the binding and networking be between these containers so we can run them all together and later we will see that it's not a right way to spin up different containers separately we will be using the docker compose to streamline the process where docker compose yml file can do everything we will talk about kitematic tool and docker compose in depth in this particular section so let's see we have a different containers we have the redis we have the uh, we have the mysql it's just a simple demo application architecture okay it's nothing to do with the application we have the redis we have the mysql we have the node.js app running so in this case what all different kind of containers we need we need all these three or four different kind of containers and we need to spin up all those containers separately and then allow them to talk to each other right so we can look for other options of writing docker compose where we can spin up all the containers in a fin single command okay so here what we will do this is the host operating system and we are already talked about the port mapping okay there is a host operating system port and the container port so there is a web app running on the containers so we can create a small network inside that we can spin up all the containers so they can talk to each other without any conflict okay so if we wanted to do it independently then what we will do docker pull mysql docker pull redis docker pull nodejs yes. okay and then we will do docker run mysql redis nodejs yes. it will create three independent containers running nodejs yes, running mysql running redis and then we will be deploying the applications independently on those containers and we will be it will be a complex task to manage all these things so it's better to manage all these things with the docker compose in the the coming sessions so we'll also talk about kitematics and docker compose